So this is uh, Sammy, a cynical parrot, and we are going to give a Microchip ID Solutions um, microchip. And we will do that by giving him a, just a numbing medication on the left side of his chest. Let that uh, we'll identify an area. And uh, the way that we actually do it is we'll feel the keel. We'll go about halfway in between the side of the body and the keel. And we will keep a, an eye on this area or we will mark it with a black marker about where we are putting that. And then we'll follow it in with the Microchip ID Solutions chip and trace that same path. The uh, benefit of this particular um, microchip is its small size and the lack of need to uh, have them have general anesthesia to accomplish the same uh, task. So it's much less uh, muscle trauma, must, much less um, pain post-injection, and uh, that's, that's our goal. So here's the, uh, the needle to put it in. The microchip is embedded within that needle. This needle is uh, 15 gauge and the typical needle for the uh, microchip is a 10 gauge. So it's um, much, much bigger. In fact, this whole needle will fit into the hub of the, fifth, of the 10 gauge needle. So we should be in good shape. We're gonna follow that same track where, right where we see the little spot of blood that we did with a 30 gauge needle and we will inject it in. We go with the bevel uh, in the downward position and we will inject right into that muscle and you can see that there's no more bleeding than with the small little needle that was already put in there. So with that, you're all done, Sammy. So the, uh, the microchip uh, can be read here at 0A021430020. So it's easily identified on the 125 megahertz typical scanners that are commercially available. Perfect. It's amazing how I didn't bleed any more than. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, you know, I told you he's the best bird. Uh huh. Good. Look at that.